Hey everyone, in today's episode, we're going to learn how to install and use PureRap to quickly overlay your project reference when using 3ds Max. The first thing we need to do is download the application from pureref.com. Go to the download section and select your platform. After this, you can do a contribution to the development team. If you are just testing the software, you can also add a custom amount of serum to get it for free. After downloading the software, we need to run the installer. You need to accept the terms, select the destination folder, and select the components to install. You can keep all settings as default. Then click the install button. Run the application. You're going to have a black rectangle in the middle of your screen. The first thing that we need to do here is right click the square and select settings. We're going to change image borders to off. We can keep all other settings as default. Right click the square again and go to mode and select always on top. This option will keep pure wrap on top of all other applications, even if it's not selected. This application is really powerful, useful, and easy to work with. To move the window, we need to press and hold right click. We can add new images to the application using drag and drop. We can also run multiple windows and add multiple images on each of these windows. To move the images, we need to select them and then press and hold left click. We can also scale or rotate the images. First, we need to select them, then use the blue dot on the edge of the image. When we right click the application, we can find many additional options. I'm going to mention only the ones that I use most of the time, but I recommend you testing all other options at least once. The first one is the Windows section. We can maximize or minimize the window with this option. We can also resize the currently selected image and lock the window. This will prevent moving the window around, but we are still able to move the images inside of the window. And the image section. Here, we can select all the images in the window. We also have multiple align options like left, right, top, bottom, or a stack. One option that I rarely use, but sometimes it's useful, it is normalized. This can help us to quickly match the size of all the selected images. Now that we have a basic understanding of pure ref, let's use it in 3ds Map. The main idea of using pure ref is to add textures or reference as an overlay window on top of the interactive rendering or 3ds Map screen and use it to match the textures in real time. In this example, the first thing we're going to do is to use the Corona Improved Color Picker to quickly select or sample color from pure ref. Even if you have a really fast computer, I would recommend using region renders to speed up the process. In this case, I'm using the Corona Color Map Saturation and Value Adjustments to control the color of my shader. But you can also use a Color Correction Map or any other color adjustment map. This whole process is going to require some testing to perfectly match the color, but you can see that after some adjustments, the final color is really close to our sample. One important step is to have the lighting and post adjustments as close as possible to final, because if we change them, we may need to redo the color matching. It takes some time to get used to this workflow, but I really recommend using it for all your renderings. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.